The Amazon represents over half of the planet's remaining rainforests and comprises the largest and most biodiverse tract of tropical rainforest in the world. Mango farming and gold mining are among the many industries on its beaches. Uh, we have the large-scale gold miners which are responsible for destroying huge areas of rainforest, especially with the global price of gold being so high at the moment. Then we have smaller scale farmers, agriculturists, people that depend on the rainforest for living. And then of course we have the wood, uh, the wood business as well, people exporting timber uh, at very high prices. So. Day and day, year by year, we're losing more rainforest. The animals, special big primates, like spider monkeys, woolly monkeys and holler monkeys, they used to move far. Approximately 80,000 to 160,000 trees are cut down daily worldwide, equivalent to 36 football fields every minute. Due to massive felling down of trees, various species of animals are lost. They lose their habitat and are forced to move to a new location. Scientists predict that climate change is set to become one of the biggest threats to the world's wildlife, driving the extinction of many animal and plant species. In addition to forest destruction, the mining in Peru also releases pollutants into the Madre de Dios River. The soil is still full of mercury. It's a desert of conditions there. It's hot, it's dry now. Um, you don't see the reoccupation of the gold mine areas by species that have been either pushed away or lost from the system. The small mines look like deep pits in forest clearings, up to 10 meters deep with debris and mud at the bottom. And the mercury levels in the human population are sky high in that region of, of uh, Peru, for example. La Pampa is home to 40,000 illegal miners. Some experts calculated the activity was bringing more profit into the country than drug trafficking. The illegal mining has brought with it a number of other crimes, including slave labor and sexual exploitation of miners. Uh, several months of having the, the capuchin monkeys in captivity, it's been a journey from when they arrived as babies, bringing them up, checking their health, feeding them, integrating them as a group, and now finally after several months we're able to bring them back into the wild. 